As we started talking more and more about solutions for climate change, I was concerned that the things that we are implementing aren't going to get us where we need to go. My name is Elizabeth Muller, and I am the CEO and co-founder of Deep Isolation. One of the big things that I don't think was getting enough attention was the need for nuclear power. The biggest thing holding back the future of nuclear power is now this unsolved nuclear waste problem. That should be solvable. It shouldn't be one of the biggest barriers to resolving climate change. You start to talk to people about Nuclear waste, uh, uh, people sort of glaze over and it just sounds really scary. Over the past six months, that has changed dramatically. It's been a complete shift as the world has really woken up. So now I think the, the excitement that I've always felt um, is now shared by a large number of people and there's an opportunity right now to lean into solving the nuclear waste problem in a way that we couldn't have dreamed of even just a year ago. The number one barrier to delivery of the, the, the new nuclear uh, energy that the, the world needs is the lack of a, a clear, viable path for, for disposal. And deep isolation is the right business in the right time. We, we offer that. I'm Chris Parker, Head of Business Development for Deep Isolation. Deep Isolation offers a technology which puts this waste far deeper underground. This is a, a modular solution. It's safe. And of course, it's a far more cost-effective, far quicker solution to, to deliver. It's clear that boreholes are now seen as a mainstream option. A few years ago, this was a, a niche activity. It's now something which we see uh, waste management organizations in, in governments across the world really getting serious about in putting their hands in their pocket to spend money working with us to assess, you know, how would they do this with their disposal and with their inventories in their specific geologies. They see deep isolation as, as the reference architecture because there's no real uh, alternative. What's really cool about deep isolation and provides a lot of hope for me, optimism about the future, is that we're actually doing stuff. And it's really cool to see a company actually start to fulfill its mission. I'm Rod Balzer. I'm the Chief Operating Officer for Deep Isolation. I've been part of this team for four years and we're actually making a lot of progress. We've got a technology that's now become kind of mainstream in industry newsletters. It's starting to get talked about as far as implementation and, and strategies. And so it was really encouraging for us when the Department of Energy's Advanced Research Projects Agency for Energy had an announcement that, hey, you could actually win some grant funding to talk about disposal. And so we applied and we won with multiple awards. We've been invited to go now on two U.S. trade delegations and we're presenting the U.S. solution for export from uranium mining to enrichment to the advanced reactors and supply companies to a back-end solution, which is deep isolation. We're the only company involved in that that has a back-end solution. It's kind of taken over. You can just almost feel that first domino fall, and once that first one tips, the rest go pretty quickly. Right now, what's shifting is that we can bring innovation into an industry that hasn't seen a lot. This is a tractable solution that people are now seeing. Uh, it, gives them, it gives them hope that they can actually dispose of this waste within sort of years. This is becoming real and now.